And hello, everyone. I'm Professor Jennifer Harrison Howard, and this is your week's two lecture concept recording. Let's get started. I'm going to share my screen, and let's begin with chapter 20. Hope everyone had a restful weekend and ready to start the week. Okay, you guys. So, our chapter 20. Family Development, Family Nursing Assessment in Genomics. Um, it's a pretty interesting chapter here, and let's get into a little bit more into detail. You always have your, your objectives, so you guys make sure you read and understand your objectives. After your readings, just review them again and just make sure you have a solid understanding of that chapter's objectives. So going into family nursing, the trend in the delivery of healthcare has been moving more towards healthcare in the community setting. Thus, family nursing is very pertinent to nurses in the community health setting. And so the family defined consists of nurses and families working together, to working together with members of that family to provide health education, social services, whatever is needed so that family can be as healthy and as whole as possible. So public health nurses, if you're in this type of um, specialty nursing, you wanna be comfortable moving from working with individuals at the bedside to families and seeing that family as your one cohesive unit um, that you're working with. You want to continue to bridge with their relationships and working with families and communities and get in the mindset that you're, again, you're not at the bedside. You're working with individuals oftentimes in their homes. And so there are challenges, of course, that goes with any type of nursing that we'll, we do, and you guys will realize that as well. Um, challenges can be overcome when you have that information so that you can, you know, do the best that you can with what you resources that you have. So family has the definition has changed from your traditional to um, and it's not really a single defined um, agreed upon definition. So what you may see as a traditional with mom and dad may look completely different and that can be their family, which is perfectly acceptable as well. So nurses are responsible for helping families promote their health, meeting their needs, coping with any health problems that may arise within the context of the existing family structure in collaboration with families to develop useful interventions. So you're working with them um, to lead the best possible life that they are able to. So nurses are often the link. We are that, that gel, that glue, between the family and the services that they that they need. Um, so you'll come across being um, as their advocate, um, helping them to get the services that they need to live the best life that they can. So the family functions are the ways in which the family meets their needs. So how do they how do they meet their their needs of their of their unit? Um, each family member the family as a whole and their relationship to society, all of those things will come in, come into play. So we're looking at this actual family structure. It refers to how the characteristics and demographics, like the sex of the families, the age, the, the number of individuals um, who make up the family unit. So you, you look at that particular makeup, if you will, more specifically, the structure of a family defines the roles and the positions of the family members. So you want to come in having an understanding of that particular dynamic. So the term family health is often used interchangeably with the concepts of like family functioning, healthy families or family health. So when you think of families, they're neither all good nor all bad. And I just keep that in mind, uh, no, no judgment and that sort of thing. Therefore, nurses need to view the family behavior on a continuum, continuum of need for intervention. 
So it's continuing on um, throughout your time working with them, whatever their need or individual is at that particular time, and it can change. And when a family comes in contact with the healthcare system as well, um, look at your box 20.2, provides a description of healthy family. So just make sure you guys have a, you know, you review that, of course. And then the four approaches to family nursing, um, the structure seen as a client, as a system, as a component of society. So as the context of structure has a traditional focus that places the individual first and the family second. So that's one approach. And then as the client, the, you're considering the family is first and the individuals are second. So you're looking at the family as being coming first, whatever's the good for the family, not that individual person. Um, you could think of the family as a system, which just focuses on the family as a client. And the family is viewed as an interacting system, if you will, at this 